This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. Okay, so uh, we took a break last time I gave one of these about drugs, so now I'm going to talk about drugs again. Hope you enjoyed our little break from narcotics. Uh, so how long do you have to observe people after they've overdosed on heroin uh, or uh, let's say any opioid? And this was, this was one thing that we had, you know, two overdoses yesterday, you know. Uh, so how long do you have to watch them? Four to six hours. Anything else? So until the Narcan's worn off? Yeah, so there's a lot of debate that goes on in the medical literature about how long you have to watch people. The traditional, the traditional teaching is four to six hours, okay, so what Adam said. And then there's kind of a more recent thinking that says once the Narcan's gone, if they're awake and talking, just get their butt out. So that's around one to two hours, right, where Narcan kind of wears off. So there's been some recent studies on this, including one called the Hours Trial. And uh, Hours is kind of a... Uh, you know, one, it's a nice, nice uh, acronym, but it actually doesn't mean anything, I think. But uh, actually, it does mean something. Sorry. So, so hours, I think, means like you look at their vital signs, their heart rate, their oxygen saturation, et cetera. Uh, and basically, at one hour, if they're ambulatory, if they have normal vital signs, no hypoxia, no tachycardia or bradycardia, normal blood pressure, uh, and normal temperature, and a GCS of 15, this hours rule says that you can usually let them go safely, okay? Um, they did a validation study of this, and, and, and uh, most people, uh, there's only one person who got discharged with this and then had to get more Narcan afterwards, okay? Um, so it seems like a pretty safe, safe rule. Uh, it's also, it doesn't do any better than clinician judgment, though. So, you know, whether it really adds anything is, is kind of debatable. Here's how I'd approach it if uh, when I clear patients, and I don't actually watch patients for four to six hours, I watch them for usually one to three hours, and it depends on a few things. One, it's what they overdosed on. So if they overdosed on methadone, what happens? They get admitted. The half-life of methadone is super, super long, like 36 hours. So if you're trying to clear them after one or two hours, you're just asking for that person to walk out and die, right? So if they overdose on methadone, you admit them. If they overdose on heroin or fentanyl, what's the half-life of those? It's super short, right? It's like two to, you know, two to three hours. So if you watch them for an hour and it's truly you know, fentanyl or heroin, they can usually go home. If they overdose on, let's say they took a bunch of their oxycodones, that's a longer half-life, so you might want to watch them longer. So the first thing I think is important for you to understand is what they overdosed on usually determines a little bit of how long you should watch them. After the Narcan wears off in two hours, if they're doing well and have stable vital signs and look good, you can generally let them go home. Okay? If you're discharging them, what should we discharge them with? Narcan. Narcan, great. And we're you know, one of the first places that you can actually discharge people with Narcan in their hand. So we should all take advantage of them. What's the chance that that person who overdosed read it, you know, and came to the ER and got Narcan is going to be dead in the course of a year? 10%, right? In the course of a month, 5%. So we're talking about a really deadly disease process. We should all be sending them home with naloxone. And then in the next, uh, next few months, we're actually going to be starting buprenorphine on patients. So that's going to be a new thing that we can actually start treating opioid addiction rather than just telling people not to use and giving them Narcan. So that's going to be very cool. So uh, time that you have to watch them might be changing. Shorter is okay. Use your brain in making decisions. Okay. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.